Hi, I'm Mark Kinney with Garage Gurus, and uh, today's tech tip, we want to talk about using a signal generator, we have one right here, in order to test this ignition coil. Now, there's two tests we're going to do. One, we're going to test the uh, internal module inside of this coil, and then two, we're going to use our spark tester that we have right here, and we're going to load this circuit down. We're basically going to put this coil under a load to make sure that it doesn't break down under uh, heavy loads inside the vehicle. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, you can see that we've removed our uh, engine cover and I've removed the coil and uh, plugged it back in. Now, before we uh, do our hookup here, let's talk about the three wires and uh, what their jobs are. So we have a green wire here all the way to the uh, right and it is our B plus, that's our 12 volts. We have a white and black wire on this end that is our ground, so we've got power and ground. And then in the middle, we have just a plain white wire on this coil, and that wire is the IC signal. This is the signal that the PCM generates to tell this module internally to saturate the coil and then uh, also to fire the coil. And that's where we're gonna make our connection point with our waveform generator. We're actually gonna back probe into here with one lead, and then we'll take the other lead to ground. So let me go ahead and get that set up. What I'd like to do next is let's talk about our, uh, our leads here. Uh, out of the back of this waveform generator, it's really just two leads. We've got power and we've got ground. So it becomes a very easy setup or hookup onto this coil. Remember we talked about the IC signal. That's where we're going to put our power from our waveform generator. And then ground will just go to a bracket on the motor. Also, I'm going to put my spark tester in there and I've got this spark tester set to provide a, a 20,000 uh, volt load on that coil, or 20 kV if you want to call it that, uh, which is pretty substantial for a COP. I mean, we could go higher, but I don't think we really need to. And we also don't really want to be stressing out these components. So let's go ahead and get these things set up on the car. <clears throat> now, what I said before, we're just gonna put our ground here and then and we talked about, you know, we've got power and ground, and now we've, we're just going to back probe this center wire right here alongside the insulator. And what I'm going to do is put my spark tester in. You can see right here. And then we need to ground the spark tester. So let me go ahead and get this hooked up. And we're good to go. All we need to do now, turn on the vehicle and go back to our scan tool. All right, let's take a quick review of where we're at. So we've installed the coil onto the engine harness. We've made our connection for our IC signal. Uh, we put our spark tester in. We've turned the ignition on because we're gonna need the uh, engine harness to supply power and ground to this coil. All we're gonna do through the waveform generator is supply that five volt IC signal, that pulse. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna come over here to our scan tool, and today we're using the new uh, Altel Ultra, which really makes it kinda easy. They've got a little tab right here I'm gonna click on. And, you know, we go into the oscilloscope uh, multimeter. In this case, we're gonna go into our waveform generator. Now, to save a little bit of time, what I've done is I've kinda pre-staged this a little bit. And you may have to play with this on different vehicles and different coils, um, you know, what your duty cycle is and what your frequency is. Uh, this one's a five volt signal, so we just kept it at five volts and we've got it set up to uh, produce a square wave. And as you can see right here, um, this is the pattern it's actually gonna uh, produce and, and through the waveform generator put into it. And really, uh, right now, all we need to do is just to push the button. And uh, as soon as I push this, you can see not only are we getting spark, so we know the coil is working, but we're also stress testing that coil at the same time. Let me go ahead and shut this off for a second. Now, one of the things uh, we need to be careful of is you know, how much load do we put on these coils or how much uh, stress do I give it? And some of that could be uh, controlled by our actual scan tool. So let me show you another little feature we can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it go. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to where it says Hertz, and I'm just going to add maybe 20 more Hertz. And you can actually hear the coil pick up or pick up speed. All right? And then as we slow it down, we can actually hear the response. We can get it down pretty low, as a matter of fact. Uh, as I said before, let me shut this off. Um, we are supplying at a 5-volt signal. I like to stay at a pretty low duty cycle. There again, I don't want to be putting a lot of current into that IC signal. All I need is enough to, to trip that module internal to get it to spark. That's really all I got today on this tech tip. My name is Mark Kenyon. I'm with Garage Gurus. And for more information on Garage Gurus, check out our website, garagegurus.tech. Or for more helpful tech tips like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks. Yeah.